There's over 7 million adoptees in the United States right now. And I started an organization called Celia Center because I wanted to meet the critical needs of those that either have been in foster care or were adopted. And I also incorporate bringing the whole constellation of adoption together, which means I have birth parents, adoptive parents, and foster parents also with foster youth and adult adoptees. And we do a support group together because my goal in Celia Center is to bring us all together so we can have compassion, understanding, and love and support for one another because we can't live in our own orbits. That's why it's called the adoption constellation. We are each stars in this experience and we all need to connect, listen, understand, have compassion so we can understand the lifelong process of not knowing where you come from because I know I was adopted and I was raised in foster care and I spent so many years wondering where am I from because my birth mother, Celia, I couldn't live with her, but no one told me what happened to her, and I wished I knew. And that's why I called my organization Celia Center, because it, for me, gives me hope that the next generation of children raised, being raised in foster care and adoption do know where they come from. And they have the support of their birth families, of their foster families, and of their adoptive families. The lifelong affirmation, because there's a quote, the birth family created the life, the foster and adoptive family sustain that life, and together they affirm that child's life. So that's what we do at Celia Center, and that's our mission. I'm so grateful to be able to do this work as an adult adoptee. I would not be able to do this without the support of my foster family and my adoptive family. I do feel responsible as an adult adoptee to be the change and help the next generation not feel the loss and the grief that I've experienced growing up, not knowing where I've come from. So we are a nonprofit organization. We're based in Los Angeles, and we help educate those serving the community of foster care and adoption. So we have social workers, therapists, doctors, teachers, and nurses also understanding the experience by coming to our support groups, by coming to our mental health conferences. We also have arts festivals, because a lot of this we can't necessarily put words to because it's a pre-verbal experience. It happened at a very young age for us. We don't have cognitive memory of not being raised by our biological families. So art is another way to express this loss. And then we have wolf healings where we bring families together so they can be with wolves and experience the connection that we have with life beyond ourselves. The wolves help teach us that we all belong and we all matter. And I think that's a big piece of why I wanted to include everyone because we all need to recognize we matter to each other. We have conferences, support groups, art festivals, wolf healings, and so much more. So please visit our website, celiacenter.org, and I hope to see you there soon.